hello uh, Luke is here from Aussie Gamers Express and today I am doing a live stream of Shadow of the Colossus which has been remastered from the ground up recreated for the PlayStation 4 uh, and just a heads up it is definitely PlayStation 4 enhanced or whatever you want to call it and uh, I've got a few things that I'm going to go through here just before I start the stream, just to get you all up to speed as to what, what uh, Shadow of the Colossus is here. With this lovely little video playing in the background there. So uh, this is a full ground-up remake designed to leverage the power of the PlayStation 4, introducing the title to a new generation of gamers and providing existing fans their beloved classic with never-before-seen visual and performance fidelity. Now, I am currently playing this. This live stream is going to be uh, played on a standard PS4 console, uh, so I won't have the 4K HDR. It's no point playing it on my PlayStation 4 Pro because uh, my capture software is just going to capture it at 1080. And uh, There are two modes uh, with the PS4 Pro that... Uh, Pro users will benefit from. One is cinematic, which will emphasize image quality, uh, and for owners of compatible 4K HDR displays, uh, it will boast beautiful dynamic 4K image targeting 30 frames a second. Without a 4K TV, PS4 Pro users running the cinematic mode will get a native 1080p display that is generated from a render target of 1440p. This results in a smoother image with less, less aliasing artifacts. Now, the other mode is called Performance Mode, which will deliver uh, an extremely fluid frame rate targeting 60 frames per second. Alright, so it'll be interesting to see what the original PlayStation uh, outputs at. And I can only give sort of a, my judgment from uh, what I can see, because I don't have any facts here on this, I don't believe. Okay, so regardless of what the game's putting out on a normal PS4, what you're seeing is 1080 and 30 frames a second. And this is the intro movie. So just a bit of a heads up, the uh, the Shadow of the Colossus originally released on the PS2. It was also remastered with a HD version for the PS3, which is where I originally played it and fell in love with it. And now it's being remastered once again for the third time on the PlayStation 4. Now this is just a preview of the game. I'm only going to be doing a relatively short stream compared to what I would usually do. I'm not going to give away the whole game and I'll obviously play the rest of the game offline and, uh, and bring you guys a review uh, very soon after the release date. Alright, let's get into it. I'm not sure if that's 60 frames. But it's definitely better than 30. Oh, this is nice. That looks awesome. That grass looks neat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like the dynamic camera. How it's zooming out. Man, this looks nice, eh? Hey? Runs beautiful. I already know the game's amazing. The remaster. Remake. Looking good to me. Oh, here we go, he's the first Colossi. 
Looks a lot better than the original game. Yeah, man, I agree. T-Souls Panda, you're on 30 points. Zombie Vengeance, you're on 20. What can we do with photo mode? Doff, vignette, camera, filter. Okay. Oh, this is a relatively small arena. What we might do it if I do take him down relatively quick, which may not happen. Hojo10, you got 10 points, mate. Thanks for joining the stream. Everybody in here, please feel free to click that follow button. Really appreciate it. 2018 is going to be a big year for Aussie Games Express. We're going to have a lot of these live streams of games that aren't released yet. And uh, also some uh, unique content for subscribers when that comes available. Big podcast coming in, in 2018. All right, let's see what we can do, eh? Oh, wow, that looks really cool close up. I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Oh, almost got a stab in there. Whoa. I oh, got him a bit, I think. Got a bit there. Oh, that's the first down. Climb up, buddy. Climb up. He's got a hand grip meter down in the bottom right there. Can you see it on the stream? It's underneath the camera. The yellow circle. If that goes all the way and disappears, he'll let go. See if I can get up to the other one. Whoops, wrong button. Noob. Getting some pain. For those wondering, this is the first boss, so first Colossi, so it's fairly easy. Got him. Trophy earned. Oh, very early in release, not released yet, and the trophies are there. It's cool. So let's go up here and have a look at that structure. Wow. That looks gorgeous. Damn, this looks nice. This, uh, this this was an amazing game. They gave this away on the PS3, the HD remaster, uh, as a, a PlayStation Plus free title. And one day, look, I just I always redeemed them all without really knowing what they were. And uh, and one day I decided oh, I'll just give it a go. And I was absolutely blown away by it. Oops, wrong button. Agro. Agro. And I just couldn't stop playing it. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. 
So when I heard that they were doing a remaster for the PS4, I was happy. I thought, yeah, that's cool. And it's coming out soon. Is there a place that exists in, in the world that looks like that? Because if there is, I would like to see it. It's not destroyed by uh, buildings and humans. There's no, no vehicle tracks. And the grass is green. I am taken back by how good this looks. It's a ground up remaster. But it really looked amazing back in the day. But these graphics are nice and sharp. Good textures. Makes a big difference. Yeah, I think I remember this. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. Wow. How did they get this done on the original PlayStation 2? Such massive beasts. I guess that's all there is in the game. There's no other enemies as far as I know. Oh, he's got symbols underneath his feet. Oh, the sand moves. Sand kicks up. You have more than one weapon. Yeah, I remember having another another weapon. How do I get it? <laughs> I like your little little uh, hint there. Thank you. How do I use this? Oh, I'm gonna get squashed. Oh, he's down. Beautiful. Whoops, wrong button. I need to switch back to my sword. Come on, is one one arrow onto that thick skin really enough to bring him to his feet? Bring him to his knees, I should say. Oh, I need to hurry before I run out of grip. Is it on his head? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want me on there! Get your feet! Wooshka! And another one! Okay, so his head's done now, I think. To move on to his next. No, I think it's down this way. Oh jeez, I got launched. Oh, there he is. It's on his ass. Oh no 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 no! Oh, grabbed. I feel sorry for these colossi, man. This little weedy ant human spearing into your ass, not doing anything wrong. Doesn't even really attack you. <laughs> Epic. Essentially, it's a puzzle to work out how exactly... <laughs> thick, I like it. A puzzle to work out how exactly you bring them down. And then it's a challenge to climb up there and stab them. Without being thrown off. They get really hard too. <laughs> that ass. 
graphics look amazing. Yeah, they've done a very good job with it. That's that, I guess that's the the benefit of doing a ground up uh, remaster is they're not just upscaling everything they already had. They're actually remaking the assets for the game, so everything actually looks the part, like the faces and all that. So the fa the faces aren't pixelated at all. They're rounded. Same with all the clothing, all the assets are obviously scaled up so they look good in 4K, although I'm currently only running in 1080. Fabrics look really cool, the texture's great. Lighting is obviously super ramped up, the extra power of the PS4 versus PS3 or PS2. As for now, that has been... Shadow of the Colossus on the PlayStation 4, just the standard one, and uh, that's it, that's all I got. There's going to be a, a, a review coming for this one in the coming weeks. Thank you very much to everybody that has watched the stream, and until next time, I am Lucas from Aussie Gamers Express, and I'll see ya.